my idea came from my mom because she is from the farm and she is always talking about these curative properties of the plants or vegetables in the farm. You can know how these properties are real or not thanks to science because we can measure them. My name is Natalia Montellano Duran. I'm 32 years old and I was born in a small city called Camiri in Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Since I was in high school, I used to love the four science we have in high school. Math, physics, chemistry, and biology. So when I had to decide what to do the rest of my life, I was looking for something that had the fourth science I used to like. So I saw biotechnology and uh, this career has the fourth science. You can use all of them applying to biological systems or processes. In 2018, I came back from Argentina to Bolivia and I saw the O's call about this early career fellowship. So I applied and I won. I was very happy. So the proposal was about studying these biological properties, antioxidant or antimicrobial, and characterize all the sensorial or physical chemical properties of these fruits. Now we have around 12 fruits we are studying. We are making the bacterial and antioxidant properties since we are taking um, note about how they are, how they grow, and everything we can know about them. At the beginning of the project, I didn't have anything because I started in 2019 and I had this opportunity in 2019. So I didn't have a lab, a space of lab. I didn't have equipment and regions, materials, or people. In 2020, in spite of the pandemic and the outbreaks, I have the opportunity to make my lab and have my own people working in my project thanks to the students of the career of biotechnology. Uh, most of them are women, so I'm really proud about it because they are really enthusiastic about the research and they also have the opportunity to present their own work in a congress recently. Since I won the O's Fellowship, I got a really big attention about the media. I've been in the TV, in the radio, in the newspaper multiple times, and even I have the opportunity to went to New York to the fifth International Day of Girls and Women in Science. And I even gave a speech of two minutes. The two best minutes in my life. This opportunity that O's gave me is important not just for me, it's for all the people around me. It's about giving the people this knowledge because in my project we want to give this information, these results, not just for other researchers or conferences or universities or even the students, is also for the people 